Hey pal, have you ever realized how amazing you are? Yes, yes, don't look back. We're talking to you right here. But you're not the only one. We are all amazing. We are saying that because, first of all, we want to cheer you up. And second, because you have a whole package of superpowers you have never imagined. And after watching this video, you may start telling everyone that you are a super awesome magic creature. Yeah, check this out. We're all here. Just a bunch of fascinating unicorns. Have you ever noticed, for example, that you glow in the dark? Or that you have a super sense of hearing that lets you determine molecular structure? And what if we tell you that you're not just one organism, but two? Yes, it may sound like science fiction, but it's a real science. So today, we'll tell you about superpowers that all human beings have. Let's get it on. You have a power of super vision. Look at the night sky, and you may notice a little spot of light in the Andromeda constellation. Seen it? Congratulations. You have just found the M31, or in other words, the Great Andromeda Nebula. The photons that reach your eyes from this spot began their journey 2.5 million years ago. It means, as you have probably already guessed, that their source is precisely this far away from us. To understand it better, let's consider the fact from the perspective of time. When these little photons started their long space journey towards your retina, Homo habilis, or Handyman, was just trying to figure out what to do with the simplest tools. Snapshot. Oh, let's do it again. I think I blinked. And Homo sapiens, which is essentially us, will not appear for about another two million years. So, next time when you put on your reading glasses, remember, you're so amazing, and you can look very deep into space. You can heal your mother from inside the womb. It turns out that pregnancy is not the one-sided relationship like we're all used to think. When you're inside your mother's belly, you have unlimited access to a huge amount of powerful stem cells. You use them mainly to build your pretty little face and these cute little fingers, toes, and other stuff you'll probably need in the future. But you can also send these cells to your mum. Well, if she needs them, of course. The stem cells can rehabilitate and protect her body from all kinds of injuries or illness. They can even cure cancer. And if you think Think about it, it does make sense, since the baby needs her mummy to be safe and sound. So, he sends her these little first aid kits made of stem cells for when he's finally born. They would be his perfectly healthy mother to make him some delicious porridge. Your hearing can detect molecular changes. Seriously, close your eyes and listen to the recordings we're going to play. There is water being poured into a glass. Can you tell the difference? In which recording there is cold water and when there is hot? Close your eyes, geez, don't be such a baby. There won't be any clues on the screen anyway. Let's go. If you think the first glass contained cold water and the second one had hot water, you're absolutely right. The great majority of people, around 80 or 90%, are able to guess right. What is that that we're hearing anyway? What you hear and recognize is, in fact, the difference between water molecules. Cold water has a higher viscosity, which is reflected in the way it's pouring. On the other hand, hot water has more bubbles in it. It affects the frequency of sound. The reason you can instinctively differentiate hot and cold water is that you unconsciously train your brain every time you make yourself a cup of tea or pour a glass of water. You don't want to get burned, do you? What does not kill you makes you stronger. In your cells, there is something peculiar called mitochondria. They are like teeny tiny power stations within each of your cells. But the thing is, they aren't supposed to be there at all. Actually, these mitochondria things have a totally different genome. Therefore, it makes scientists think that a very long time ago, there were actually a kind of bacteria that entered into a symbiosis with our cells at an early age of evolution. Time passed, and the assimilated bacteria became an essential part of a cell. After a while, once inside our bodies, and when I say ah, I refer to our weirdos ancient ancestors, mitochondria turned out very useful and we decided to let them stay. After all, it does seem like you're not only one organism, but two, as we pointed out in the beginning. You possess a force field. May the force be with you, Luke. Hmm. <laughs> so, you consist of atoms, as does everything around you. Obviously, you know that already. What you probably did not know is that all atoms consist of... How do I put it? Virtually nothing. An atom of hydrogen, for example, is 99.99 and a dozen of nines percent 
empty space. Here is the question then. Why don't we pass through a wall every time we lean against it? The answer is because of an electromagnetic field, which every atom has. The field makes atoms strongly repel each other. It means that when you take something in your hands, you don't really touch in the full sense of the word. There is always a small gap between you and the object created by the electromagnetic field. When you sit down at the table and put your hands on it, the pressure you feel and the force that doesn't let your hands pass through the tabletop is precisely an electromagnetic repulsion. The field is incredibly strong, even stronger than a gravitational pull our planet exerts. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.